YouTube fan Zookeeper here. I'm going to try to quickly go over how the coolant control valve works in the Toyota Prius. Um, I, I just randomly marked this black mark here. Uh, the important thing is this is full clockwise position here. But this is as far as this will go. Um, right now I have blocked flow in this side port but unrestricted flow between these two. So I can get fluid in and out of these two, but this one's blocked off. As I rotate this to about 3 o'clock position, this port becomes on just barely open. Give it just a little bit more of a touch. You can drop a wire in there, and it becomes um, barely open, and I still have unrestricted coolant flow between these two ports. So I have unrestricted flow here and just a trickle of flow coming in or out of this port right here. As I advance this even further towards about 130, this port becomes restricted flow still. And as you can see maybe in here, especially if I use my light, that port becomes somewhat restricted as I rotate this counterclockwise and the port on the end is still completely unrestricted. So I have slightly restricted flow here this way and almost unrestricted flow this way. As I advance this even further towards 12 o'clock then the port on the side this port right here becomes blocked off this is blocked and I have restricted flow between these two ports. Very limited flow which you can see through the small hole. I get the light in the right spot. You can see the small hole there. That's the restricted port and on this side it's unrestricted. As I advance this even farther anti-clockwise to about 11 o'clock I have restricted flow from here through here. I can pass this wire all the way through but it's got an orifice in it. I'll pass the wire through and then I'll show you. It's kind of tricky because the orifice is pretty small. You can see the wire that I put in the side here goes all the way through to both of those. You see the wire down? There it is. There's the wire way down the bottom. But it is restricted. It's restricted from, it's restricted through here, and it's restricted through here. I pull that out, and I advance this to about 9 o'clock. I have 9 o'clock. This port in the middle is blocked off completely, and this port and this port are also blocked. I'm sorry, they're not blocked. So now I get coolant flow from here, let me see here, from here to here, but the middle port is blocked. Let me see if I can get my wire through there and demonstrate that. So the wire's through here. You cannot see the wire in the middle. It's not there, but you can see the wire in the end. And that is almost fully counterclockwise. If I keep rotating, to fully counterclockwise, doesn't go any further. The middle port is still plugged off. The end port goes straight through, almost unrestricted, all the way to the other side. Let's see if we can get my Whoops, that's what happened. You can see the right there. So, we're almost unrestricted from the side port to the end port, and the middle port is completely blocked, and that's the fully anti-clockwise position. Folks, that's how the coolant control valve works on a Toyota Prius.